How's it going guys? It's your Yubi here. It's time for episode number 16 of Let's Play Hut, and we're going to start this episode off by picking up a new goalie. Our best goalie so far, he will be an upgrade over Devin Dubnik, and that is Jonas Hiller, the right-handed glove goalie, 7,058 pucks, and uh, he's been pretty good uh, from other uh, past games in NHL that I've used him, and uh, hopefully he continues that. But anyways, as you can see, our forward and defensive lines, no changes uh, whatsoever from our lines. Uh, we do have the Columbus line, our third line, playing pretty good. Molson dropped down and put him an assistant captain on him, too. And our fourth line is the St. Louis line. Anyways, let's jump into the first game against the Salt Bears. He's got a uh, Boston Bruins logo and jersey. And to start off here, he's going to get a chance. I mean, we're going to get a chance on the 5-on-3. Look at this cycle. He doesn't touch the puck. Gagne, you go ahead. Uh, BX gets a chance. Nothing there. Lupul. Stick lift, pick up the puck. He does still hasn't touched it since that beginning of the faceoff, and we find Giordano. Boom! Rocket shot off the post and in on the five on three. And later on, uh, the game actually ends up liking out. And, uh, we get the win there, though. Uh, one nothing win, uh, deservedly. Uh, so I guess you can say. And anyways, we'll jump into the second game here. Uh, he's got the uh, All Stars uh, logo and jersey. And I'm gonna start this off here. Uh, Guy is gonna get the puck feed over to Lupo, Lupo over to Horton. Horn is going to make a nice move past him, past Cronwell, and then beat the goalie. Nice goal by Horn there to make him 1-0. Later on here, he's going to get a chance, and it's stopped by Hiller. Bogosian's going to pick it up. He's going to feed it to Yakupov here on the uh, wing. Yakupov's going to pick it up. He's going to beat one defenseman. A nice cut and feed it over to Horton for his second of the game to make that 2-0. About, and then about five seconds later here, uh, it's going to be, I believe, Brown with the puck. He's going to give it to Bogosian. Bogosian's going to withstand a check and just snipe it past the goalie with 1.7 seconds left to make it 3-0. And then that is how that game finishes. A nice 3-0 win. Havlat ends up getting injured, so Stafford's going to step in for 722 EA pucks from that one. We end up going up to 4 points in Division 1 after 2 games. So uh, there you can see double the time on attack. Horton, Bogosian, and Hiller with the 3 stars of the game. Later on here, a game against Eric Katoon. And uh, he's got the Habs logo and jersey. And anyways, he's going to start off here shorthanded. Take a shot at Hiller with a nice save. Bogosian's going to pick it up. He's going to feed it over to uh, Wheeler. Wheeler makes a move. He gets hit. Gagne picks it up. He goes to Lupo. And Lupo with the backhand puts it away to make it 1-0 on the power play. Later on here, he's shorthanded. Uh, I mean, we're shorthanded. Wheeler picks up the loose puck off the cross, off the uh, pass. And he goes breakaway to put it away to make it 2-0. Finally here, uh, uh, halfway through the second, Bogosian's going to feed it over to Steen. Steen gets past one. He ends up feeding it over a soft pass to Yakupov. What a just a lays it off for him. Yakupov puts it away to make it 3 nothing. Uh, later on here, it's a feed to uh, Stafford. Stafford over to Gagne. And Gagne's through, and he's going to uh, shoot. Flurry stops him, but he gets the puck and gives it right back to Lupul, who makes it 4 to nothing. And finally here, I believe in the uh, third period, it's Lupul getting the puck. Lupul's going to feed over to Gagne. Gagne can't do anything. Stafford gets the puck. Trying to cycle it around, uh, move it, shoot, stopped. But Gagne picks up the loose puck and puts it past, uh, I believe it was Flurry and that, yeah. Flurry to make it 5 0. And that is how that game finishes. So a nice 5 nothing win. Another shutout, 938 EA pucks from that one. Third straight shutout uh, in this episode. And uh, we move up to a record of 3 0 uh, 0. Domination, once again, as you can see from Time on Attack. And Joffrey Lupo Gagne and Blake Wheeler with the three stars of the game. So, anyways, let's go into the next game. Uh, Antoine 26. He's got the least logo in Jersey. And uh, we're going to start it off here on the uh, power play. Going to feed it over to Yakupov. Yakupov's going to get the puck. He's going to feed it across the Camillary. And Camillary puts it away to make it 1 0. Uh, to start off here in the first period later on here. He's on the power play a bad pass by our player Gavlia shoots it's stopped by Hiller. He's gonna pick it up again I believe that's Steen with the puck Steen makes a nice couple moves uh, Ends up getting stopped, but he keeps on going and puts it away to make it 1-1 later on here in the second We're on the power play take a look at this passing uh, He gets a hit here Wheeler still withstanding the check. That's why I like body look at this pass by Wheeler over to Gagne and makes it 2-1 Right after that goal, Horton's going to pick up the puck, make a move past the defensive feed over to Molson. Molson makes it 3-1 just seconds later. And uh, midway through the second here, it's going to be uh, Roy with the puck. Uh, Roy gets it. He's going to feed it over to Bieksa. Bieksa back to Steen, and Steen just wires a bomb into the top shelf. Makes it 4-1. Uh, later on here, he's got the power play. Roy with a chance. He goes back and off the post. BX is going to pick up the puck. He's going to send it over to Wheeler. Wheeler's going to pick it up. He's going to give it to Dubinsky. And Dubinsky puts it past the goalie shorthanded to make it 5-1. to one. And uh, last but not least here, Yakubov's going to get the puck. 
Try to get it down low. He can't. Edler's going to pick it back up. Camilleri gets it. Feeds it to wide open Yakpov, who puts it away to make it 6-1 to one on the 5-minute power play there. And uh, that's how that game's going to win finish. So 6-1 uh, win, 857 EA pucks for us there. We move up to 8 points in Division 1, looking really, really solid so far. And uh, once again, domination in this game. Yakpov, Dubinsky, and Camilleri are the three stars of the game. And finally, Team Tibbs, the last game of this episode for uh, Let's Play Hut. And he's going to start this game, uh, uh, goal off with a power play and Backstrom off the face off puts it away. A weak goal, but oh well, you can't do anything about that. one nothing later on here. Uh, some quick passing. Wheeler over to Lupo. Lupo over to Ganya. Ganya gets stopped. Just keep on shooting. Can't get anything. Lupo back to BX. So look at these. Look at this pass. Just just pass, pass, pass. Boom. Ganya with the clapper. Makes it 1-1. One one. Really good passing for our team there. And uh, the cycle is very efficient here in Division 1. Uh, later on here, two minutes left in the first. He's going to get a chance. Just hold it with Pacioretty, I believe. And he uh, snipes it away past Hiller to make it 2-1. to one. Later on here, he's going to try to get a little bit fancy with Boyle. Nice poke by uh, Wheeler. Wheeler's going to get the puck. And he's going to force the backhand in past the goal. He's shorthanded to make it 2-2. Two to two. He got a little cheeky there with the Deeks. And we were able to counter it. Uh, later on here, he's going to get a chance. Hiller with the puck. He's going to get it out. Camilleri over to uh, Lupo. Lupo's going to get the puck, get around one, and a quick backhand pass the goalie. Beat him twice like that, and that would make it 3-2. to two. Uh, Lastly, he's going to get a chance here with uh, Koifu, I believe. He's going to walk in, going to turn around, feed it over to Carl, and Carl shoots. Hiller bought the fake there quite easily with the pass, but halfway through the third here, Edler's going to get the puck. He's going to feed it over to Yakubov. Yakubov makes nice moves to get past a uh, couple there. He gets it down low, feeds it over to Steen, uh, can't get it, Steen re regains the puck, Roy with the shot, can't put it in, but look at this, persistence pays off, because Steen gets the puck and puts it away to make it 4-3, to three, uh, maybe through the third, and that's how that game finishes, so 4-3 to three win, and we're start off our Division 1 trip with a 5 game winning streak, 678 EA pucks from that one, up to 10 points here in Division uh, 1, uh, not really domination, but a solid effort for our team. And Wheeler, Lupul, and Steen with the three stars of the game. So, anyways, that's how the this episode is going to end. Episode number 16. Uh, we've won our last 10 games. We're 10 0 0 last 10 games, as you can see there. We're projected to win this title. And uh, once we do, that will wrap up episode uh, season one of Let's Play Head. And we'll start season two. I'll kind of explain how the rules go uh, once we do end up winning uh, Division One, if we do. But uh, as of right now, let's take a look at the team leaders. Uh, no changes with uh, points and goals. Fleischman leads with 39 points and 23 goals. Uh, Stafford jumps in, gets an extra three assists uh, in this episode. After Havlat got hurt, we put him in there uh, to replace. Uh, well, Horton took Havlat's spot, and then Stafford came in to replace Havlat. Uh, but anyways, uh, 22 assists for him. So uh, that's the team leaders. And anyways, that will be the end of episode number 16. Episode number 17, hopefully I'll release it. Tuesday or Wednesday my last exam is on Tuesday and I'll be home on my birthday is on Wednesday and my last and I'll be home Thursday probably and from then on I'll probably be recording and it's like 720p uh, much better quality and uh, hopefully I could pick up a PS4 uh, sometime around Christmas Boxing Day New Year that kind of thing so I could start up uh, FIFA 14 and EFC so once again hope you guys enjoyed episode number 16 of Let's Play Hut and I will see you guys next time peace